The study has been prepared for me? Examine my skull shape? Yes, indeed. Well, that's my that's me. That's my head. Here are the visions we have had so far. There's teeth up there. It's Berenice. Got some telltale heart in there. Got some cask of Amontillado in there. A mask of Red Death down there. Well, well, Mask of Red Death was just a recital, of course. We didn't actually live the experience. So, last time we finished cask. And I think what we were doing is we were wandering around the house to see if we could locate anyone. Last time we saw our cousin, um, blood was coming out of her mouth. And then we kind of faded away into the other world. She's not here. Can we still play the piano? Oh, wait, her note. My beloved Henry, my darling, I'm confused and frightened. Your declaration came so unexpectedly, and Uncle is right when he says that I'm far too young to entertain proposals of marriage. The two men who mean the most to me in, are in opposition. I fear the result will be... F I, fear the, I fear the result will be for Uncle to send you far, far away, and I shall never see you again. If so, please... Please remember me always, forever yours, Elise. Yeah, so our brother wants to get down with our underage cousin. As you may remember, I'm supposed to give this note to him. But we kind of like went to the other world before that could happen. So the uncle, as you know, as you might remember, is highly against this. And there he is. Hey, you. T read this. From Elise? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Looks like I can turn away. Is he just going to sit there reading it? Hmm. Doesn't seem like we're going to get a reaction from him. Wait! Yeah? I need your help. I, I don't know. Edwin has become completely unbalanced. He's violently angry. He even refuses to call for a doctor, claiming her condition is due to my unnatural advances. We must conspire against him. We must take Elise from this dark place. You, my brother, you must help me. Well, don't look at me like that. Like, we, you could have put that in a much more non-creepy way, brother. Someone at... Oh, hello. The mistress Elise is no more. She is dead. Yeah? What do you think about that? Did you, did you hear what he said? He said Elise is dead. Are we gonna... You know, I've, I've been having some weird visions, you know? And one of them did indeed have a, uh, a woman who died unexpectedly, and then it turned out she wasn't, and they buried her alive. Maybe we shouldn't do that. I'm just gonna walk past? Okay. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, here, here they are. It's my fault. All my fault. I loved her as I've never loved. I refused to believe she was ill. My mother, my dear, dear mother died in much the same way. What way is that? Oh, can I rub you? Rub it, rub, rub, they're there, they're there. You must guard the secret of Henry's proposal. It only blackens her memory that she should die under indecent circumstances. Cousin, there was nothing indecent about my affection. Surely my grief compares with yours. Let's not argue about who's grieving harder. It's not that's not what's important right now. Can I look at her? Apparently not. Please leave me to grieve properly. I ask only that you allow me to sit vigil just until dawn. 
Yes, it would be proper. Your brother will need light. Go fetch the lantern I was filling in my study. Lantern from your study. All right. Don't argue, you two. I don't want to come back in here and see you two fighting. Next to the corpse. So why did she die? Apparently she wasn't showing any symptoms of anything. Uh, until she just coughed up blood. Uh, lantern. But no, this is a piano room. Not the room I wanted. There we go. I want want this room. Good. Set it here. Okay. I was able to look at this table before. I didn't know why. I guess because I can put this down right here now. There we go. Can't interact with him. I guess I'll just leave you here. I don't mean to be indecent, but... Like, you're not going to kiss her or anything, right? Uh, don't mind me. I shouldn't have brought it up. I shouldn't have asked. Uh-oh. What? How did we otherworld? Man, that, that paint thinner, we took one huff of it at the beginning of this game. And we haven't recovered. What might we be looking for? We've currently lived through three of Poe's stories and got a reading of one. So now, we're in this world again. What might we be looking for? We went to a cask by rubbing this bottle of wine. Oh, can I do it again? So, it's been suggested that you can see a story from both perspectives. We finished it from um, Montresor's perspective. But could we actually finish it from Fortunato's perspective? I'm unsure if you can do that. Revenge means nothing unless the Avenger makes himself known to his victim. Right, put our mask on. Had a lot of trouble figuring out how to actually get to the house. But, uh, should be able to do it more easily now. Hello? Yes? Sir? Return to the villa. Tell the livery that I shall be out all night. They are forbidden to leave the house. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Off he goes. And mm. then there's someone up here. Well, their immediate disappearance, now that my back is turned. And there's someone else up here to talk to. Excuse me, sir. I'm attendant upon Signora Fortunato. She's searching for her husband. Have you seen him? Oh, I'm certain I saw him some streets from here. 
over on the other side of the square, engaged in a business discussion. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's way far away from here. Don't look around here for him. Look on, like, the other side of town for him, because you won't find him here. Right, so we want to get into this position where we can rub the bridge. For years I've suffered his injuries, but now he has ventured upon insult. It's been suggested that maybe you're, like, you're waving to him. That that's what that is. I had a lot of trouble finding that spot last time. Finding Fortunato's spot with which to rub. Hard to find when it comes to Fortunato. Can I talk to these people? I didn't last time. Oh. <laughs> yes? No, I guess we just stop here. Hello? Who's that? No one, Signora. No one at all. Man, my disguise is flawless. They cannot tell I am Montresor. Hello, you two. What's going on? Can't seem to talk to him. Hello, Fortunato. Who's that under the mask? Why, it's Montresor. Fortunato. What a surprise. My dear Fortunato, I wonder if you could help me. I've bought a small cask of what passes for a Montillado, but I have my doubts. A Montillado? But I have my doubts. I need you to taste it for me, Fortunato. I need a second opinion on this Montillado. You want any? Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. A cast, Montresor. And in the middle of carnival. Impossible. I have my doubts. I was foolish enough to pay full price without consulting Fortunato in the matter. You know, if this guy, if this guy saw Montresor and Fortunato talking, that seems like a hole in Montresor's plans. Lucchese has a discerning palate. Perhaps he could take a sip. Bah, Lucchese can't tell a Montiodo from gutter water. He's just gonna stand there? I feel like we didn't get this conversation last time. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, yes? Excuse me, aren't you Montresor? I'm afraid I don't know that gentleman. Yes, no Montresor attending the festivities here tonight. Not at all. I have no idea who that person is. Hmm. Let's go. Okay. Where? To your vaults. But surely your wife is looking for you. She'll see me soon enough. Let us go. If you say so, Fortunato. Let us sample the wine. It's going dangerous at this hour. We will soon arrive at the safety of my villa. All right, so once we get like a scene where we get a close up of Fortunato's eyes, we'll want to click on that to switch perspectives, and I would guess then we would not want to click back. We we'll want to try to get to the end of the catacombs as Fortunato, so we can see this from the other side. Man, this is madness.
Oh yeah, our badass crest. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us return. I'll consult Lucchese. The cold is nothing. Lucchese is an ignoramus. In we go. This way. It's dark in here. Don't we need torches? Oh, that's a good point. We should take a torch with us. That's much better. Hopefully getting to the end of the catacombs goes a little faster this time. All right, here's some wine here. Yep, of course he wants some. Here you go. Gulp, 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 gulp. It will still the cough. A draft of Medoc will keep us from the damps. Hmm. My hand is translucent. This way. Want some more? With impunity. Gulp, gulp. Enjoy. It will still the cough. My hand is like solid for a little bit and then turns translucent. Along here. Come along. Right, it gets wider out here. Alright, so we made it at the end, but we didn't actually get to click on his face. Therein lies the Amontillado. The Amontillado. Well, we got there a lot faster this time. What if I just walk away? No, I can't walk away. Did I, like, click on his face? Doesn't seem like it. I got a couple opportunities to switch perspectives the first time I did the story, but uh, this time it didn't happen. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I mean, I gave him plenty of warning. It is very damp here. One last time, let me implore you to return. No? Then I must leave you. But first... Right, I guess we're, I guess we're burying him. Does not seem... like I can leave or move around, or click on him to switch the perspectives. So, whatever it was, I need to do the switch perspective. It looks like that I missed it.
So when I finish this, I'm just going to go back to the real world. An excellent joke. I guess that does mean that the story will advance. I'm not so over surprised. The Amontillado. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I don't know how long the story actually is, but I wonder if it's possible to get all of like the different perspectives and all of the different stories My wife will be looking for me. in one run. Yes, let us be gone. Because every time you do one of them, it does go back to the real world and then the story continues. Yes, for the love of God. We did get like a little bit of different conversations in this, at the beginning of this, with Fortunato and Snape, who he was talking to. But of course, didn't get the one I actually wanted, which was to switch to Fortunato for this bit. My heart grows sick. Due what, to the dampness. What a magnificent jest. In pace requies cut. Oh. No, we're we're still in the other world. Doing that did not actually bring us back to the real world. I guess it's because we, it's the same ending that we got, so it doesn't count as advancing things. Okay. Try to find a point where I can click on his face. Revenge means nothing unless the Avenger makes himself known to his victim. Just got, just got to find it once. Just got to find it once and then leave it at that. For years I've suffered his injuries, but now he has ventured upon insult. You kind of wonder what the insult must have been. It must have been a hell of an insult. Excuse me, sir. I'm attendant upon Signora Fortunato. I kind of imagine Montresor Have you seen is like George in that one episode of Seinfeld. Streets from here, over on the other. Where he really want he really wants to use the jerk store insult. He goes to such lengths to it, then it backfires on him when he actually finally gets to use it, and like it, he just eventually it just gets to the point where he has to kill the guy. I'm pretty sure that's probably how it went. I want to click on your eyes, Fortunato. My dear Fortunato, I wonder if you could help me. I've bought a small cask of what passes for Amontillado, but I have my doubts. Amontillado? But I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Don't let me click on your face. I want to click on your face. Mm. How do I click on your? How I click on your face? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Aren't you Montresor? I'm afraid I don't know that gentleman. I know no one of such a name. Clearly you can hear from my accent that I am not this Montresor you speak of. Why would you possibly think I am such a person? Let's go. Where? To your vaults. 
But surely your wife is looking for you. She'll see me soon enough. Let us go. Maybe if I don't give him the wine in the... Maybe when, like, there's parts where I can give him bottles of wine. Maybe if I don't do that. We will soon arrive at the safety of my villa. My friend, this is madness. You are afflicted with a severe cold. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us return. I'll consult Lucchese. The cold is nothing. Lucchese is an ignoramus. Nothing's going to keep Fortunato from that Amontillado. This way. He's got to have it. Let me... Click on your face. Fortunato, I'm going to look at you and click on your face at every opportunity. Like every screen here, I'm going to turn around to see if I can look at you. I cannot click on him. I think there was nothing on the left side here. Actually, I can't click on the left side, can I? Doesn't seem so. Come, we will go back. Your health is precious. You are rich, respected, admired, beloved. You are happy, as I once was. You are a man to be missed. For me, it's no matter. <sighs> cough is nothing. It won't kill me. I won't die of a cough. True. True. Man, Fortunato, you're the best. Everyone loves you. I can't believe what a great man you are. I, w I don't know what I would do with myself if anything happened to you, Fortunato. This way. What a tra- oh. Hold on. He has a weakness. No. I can point at his face. It's not doing it. <coughs> One wants to take it slowly. Oh, it's not doing it yet. Fortunato, this might sound weird, but how can we sp Unity. how can we body swap? I know it's an odd question. Not a question you get asked all the time, I'm sure. He has a weakness. I know, it's it's the wine, it's over here. He loves it. What if I just don't though? What if I don't? Do I have to give him wine to advance, I wonder? I mean, that, that wouldn't make sense. I mean, surely you would reach the end of the catacombs regardless of whether or not you gave him wine. <laughs> no? Come along. Careful through here. He has a weakness. I know. I know about that weakness. It's not what I'm interested in right now, though. This is the room. If I didn't give him any wine, does it matter? Yeah, I can still put this here. There is. Yeah, he's still going in. The Amontillado. The Amontillado. It's strange. 
Man, I'm going to have to go back and look at that first playthrough of this to see how I got the perspective switch. Because I got it twice that time. And it's not happening once now. Oh, he's already chained up? How did I... Okay, I didn't even click on it. It is very damp here. One last time, let me implore you to return. No? Then I must leave you. Now, he, he knows how it works. He knows how it goes by now. He, he's an old hand at getting buried, buried alive like this. Oh, and my cursor is not actually changing. Is uh, something wrong? Oh, hold on. What? Okay, I'm, I'm already holding the brick. I don't actually have to pick up the brick. I'm already holding it. I don't know what happened. Now, okay, he wasn't in the chain. He took the chain off. <laughs> he's just, he's just role-playing. He's just role-playing. He's LARPing right now. He loves it. <laughs> it's a genuine laugh. I'm having I'm having plenty of laughs about it. Yes. <laughs> We're all having good laughs about the about LARPing, burying Fortunato alive. It's getting late. My wife will be looking for me. Let us be gone. Yes, let us be gone. Don't suppose there's a chance for a body swap right here at the end, Fortunato. For the love of God, Fortunato! Yes. For the love of God. Maybe Montresor never actually buried Fortunato. This is all just a, a delusion he's having, which is why Fortunato was looking so weird. None of it actually happened. I do like the little jingle. My heart grows sick. All right, I'm probably just going to... Due to the dampness. I'm probably just going to review the first run of this section to see exactly how I got the body swap. Because it's not happening now. Oh. Pace requies. Okay, there we go. Okay, now he says it. And okay, there we go. Now it ends. Was thinking wasn't ending there for a second. Okay, let's just go look for something else. Let's just go look for something else in the house. Anything else in here? I'll. You know, I'll, I'll take a look at the three stories that we played through and look at the parts where we got body swapping to, uh, so when we try them again, can, can try to make it happen. You know, there was never anything in this room. Like, there were these paintings, but... Oh yeah, we saw him painting that, the uncle. Like, we have frames, but nothing in them. Okay, he is hanging up these paintings that he's finishing. This is the front door.
Did he not like this one? Kind of put some slashes in it. Ah. Of reference to what we just did. I wonder if the paintings in that room are referring to how much of the game we've done. Well, this would go to Berenice, I think. And I guess we, I guess if you can do these from both perspectives, Berenice could be done, could be finished from the perspective of Berenice. That is a possibility. Also, the fish room is around here. It's in there, which means we could try <clears throat> to do a... I can't walk down here further. We could try to do the second perspective of Telltale Heart. In the basement, we found the painting of Mask of the Red Death, but that was just a, that was just a story that we were being told. We didn't play through it, so I would doubt there's a second one to do there. It's probably not. Yeah, just start. It's going to start this again. Or or maybe not. Maybe it just won't do anything. Maybe it just won't do anything. When we did Telltale Heart, I don't remember there being a point where we could swap. Like, the, it never came up. Berenice, it came up like, I think it came up twice. Pretty sure. Um, Telltale Heart, and then our first playthrough of, uh, of Cask, it came up twice. Telltale Heart, it never came up at all. But this over here is where is where Telltale Heart would be. Oh, I can also click on the cleaver. Do I get the other perspective from the cleaver? I clicked on the fish the first time. This is from the other person's perspective. It's going to be cons probably considerably longer this time than the first one. Yeah, there we are. True. Nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous. I, I had been and am. But why do people say that I am mad? Well, the old man was eating that dinner. He would have gone to bed by now. Let's hear his let's hear this man's perspective on what happened the first time we saw this. Old man's gone to bed. Can't click on that. All right, we can go in our room. What do we have in here? I don't want his money. Are we an artiste?
rub those glasses. How has this idea entered my brain? It haunts me day and night. Just something he's got on his mind. Uh, just back there. Just something he can't stop thinking about. Well, he can't go to bed. He's got something on his mind. He keeps. He can't stop thinking about that weird eye. Why is his? Why is the old man's eye so weird? Ah, oh, there's the old man. Do we sit down as he's eating his dinner? He's done me no harm. Just gonna sit down. You look as though you could use some hot soup. But how can I eat when I'm looking at that eye? I'm gonna gonna mentally rub that eye. What is it about him that makes my blood run cold? <gasps> I don't want to click on. I don't want to switch perspective. We've already done his perspective. You don't want your soup. It's cooling. For some reason, I've been put off my appetite. Yeah, we read about the premature burial. She died from sheer terror. None for me, thanks. He's done me no harm. It's grown late. Yeah, you'd better get to bed. Good night. Sleep tight. He's done me no harm. Uh, he has this lantern. You can slide it open and closed. Can I take lantern? There we go. People fancy me mad. Madmen know nothing but me. I proceed with wisdom, with caution, with foresight. Yeah, we're not mad. We know exactly what we're doing. We're entirely lucid. Doesn't seem like we can go into the bedroom yet. But if not, then what is it that I have to do here? Anything around? Well, I, 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 know, I don't want my soup. Can't because I, I can't think I can't think about my food. I can't think about it. Do I need to go back in my room? We already did our drawings. I assume we don't show the old man our uh, our little sketches. Doesn't seem like we can go in there. 
We can open the door for some reason. But... Don't see anything in there. We can pick this up. Okay, I can't pick it up unless I have it totally closed. But I still can't go in the room. And I think I just put it down automatically. Yeah, I put it down automatically if I leave there. Okay. Clock's chiming. Maybe now. Yeah, there we go. Gently. Oh, so gently. Be careful. Be cautious. Be a very, very profound old man indeed to suspect that every night, just at twelve, I look in on him while he sleeps. Yeah, the old man never suspects. We do this every night. We walk in his room and just stay here, waiting. We don't do anything. Does not seem like I can try to open the lantern. Looks like I could leave if I wanted to. But I mean, why would we leave? We came in here to watch. To listen. But it doesn't look like I can click on anything. There's only two screens, forward and back. Well, I can just leave for some reason. No, I can't go back in. Do I have to wait a bit? Oh, does not look like we can pick it up. Well, maybe we're just done watching him for the night. We went in there, we watched him for the night, and maybe we're satisfied. Like, okay, I watched him. No, I can't go in my bedroom. Hi, apparently I don't sleep at night. Good night. I don't... I, I find it strange that people have to go to bed and go to sleep because I don't do that. I'm perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with me. Look, I stay up all night staring at a sleeping man, waiting to see if his eye opens. Mm -hmm. With caution. We are very wise. With foresight. All right, so I don't know if it's just a matter of time to go by before the, the chime rings. Okay. 
or if I do need to walk around a bit. Don't know why we can open this. Rub the clock? Ah. I don't want his money. We can advance time by rubbing the clock, of course. Of course we can. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gently. Gently. Oh, so gently. Oh, so gently. You'd have to be a very profound old man indeed to suspect that every night, just at twelve, I look in on him while he sleeps. I'll never suspect it. We don't make a single sound. All right. The only thing I can do when I'm in here, it seems, is turn around and leave. And then we just went on, we just fast forwarded to the next night. Oh, hold on. Now it's letting me open this. Stealthily. Stealthily. Yeah. Be very careful. Very careful. Just got it, trying to get a glimpse of that eye. Closed. The eye is closed. That eye is closed for the moment. Just rubbing my cursor across the screen to see if I can do anything. All right, well, nothing's coming up. I can't close the lantern. What if I turn around? You know, in the story, he does this for multiple nights. It might be that I, that's what I need to do. Didn't see that eye tonight. <clears throat> Guess we gotta wait for the, for the next night. Weird that, like, the old man's eye is, uh, is closed when he's asleep. You see, our character doesn't have a grudge against the old man. Good night. He just hates that eye. Food. Who needs food? I am sustained by my hatred of the old man's weird eye. Well, looks like it's midnight. have fun. Can you believe the old man has no idea? Did he hear? Should I go back? Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Maybe let's just open the lantern a little bit so we can see what, it, what he's doing. Who's there? It's the low sound 
that rises from the bottom of the soul when charged with mortal terror. Many at midnight, it wells up from my own bosom, deepening with its dreadful echo the terrors that distract me. Yes, I know it well. From the bosom? That eye's open. That looks like an open eye to me. We can see it clearly. Poor old man. He's been lying awake ever since that first noise. His fears growing, trying to fancy them causeless, but he cannot, because death, stalking with his black shadow before him, has enveloped the victim. We just need to, just need to make sure we can see that eye clearly. Got to shine some light on it. Yeah, there we go, right on it. What's that? My God. His heartbeat. He must be terrified. His heart will burst. Surely it will burst! What if... What if a neighbor should hear it? Yeah, a neighbor might hear that heart beating. We gotta do something about that. I will vex me no more. Now, what shall I do with the body? Well, we won't have to worry about that eye anymore. We have to figure out what to do with the... the body. What shall I do with the body? What shall we do with it? Well, we know we need to put it under the floorboards. I thought it was the floorboards in the bedroom, but... Is there a tool around, possibly? That we might use for this? Ah, there we go. I worked hastily, but in silence. I dismembered the corpse. I cut off the head and the arms and the legs. Well, probably should clean that up before we have guests around. Might look a little conspicuous. Feeling good. Yeah, I don't see a sign of a murder happening here. Here's the old man's stuff. I have no interest in any of this, though. The important thing is that we got rid of the eye. Okay, now we can look down. Hmm. 
We can take boards off and put them back. I guess the body's already down there. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's over there. Okay, never mind. Take this. No? Can I take this? In you go. No? Hold on. Oh, there it is. There it is. This... Okay, in there. Got to be very precise about where we click. And in there. There. All deposited neatly between the scatlings. No one will ever know. Placed so cunningly, no human eye, not even his, could uh. detect anything wrong. And eventually it'll start to stink, and then... No oh. blood spot whatever. All has been caught in a tub. <laughs> oh, we have fun. We're so good at this. We're such a master murderer. Eventually it'll start to stink, and the neighbors will say, what is that? And I'll just say, uh, it's part of my religion now that I don't take baths. What? Who are you to say that I shouldn't do that? Hello? Sorry to disturb you, sir, but somebody or other heard a scream or some such called us up. We've got to check these things out. What are you doing awake at this hour? That'll do, Finley. Of course, officers, of course. I think you'll find everything's in order. Do come in, please, do. Well, what about the scream, Sarge? Oh, the scream, sir. What do you know about anything like that? Do you exist? I can't see. Oh, there you are. Oh, that was I, Sergeant. I called out in a nightmare. I'm given to nervous fits. A gentle man like yourself? Well, what about the old man that lives here? Finley! Gone to the country. Lucky man. Yeah, he doesn't live here anymore. Just, I'm on my own. Man, if only, if all of us could... Might we be looking about a bit? Of course. Of course, certainly, search. I want you to. I mean, I, I, I went through all this trouble. I want to have an audience. I want people to see that they were not able to detect a thing. The stove as well. Yes, sir. Sir. Why don't you investigate his bedroom? You'll want especially to look into the old man's room. Exactly. Yes, look particularly here. You should look really hard in here. There's nothing in here. In here, boys. Watch it. Sorry. Sit, sit, all of you. Do. Don't mind if I do. I insist we all sit down and have a nice chat. I'm going to rub you, sir. Of course, they don't suspect me. My manner has assuaged them. Indeed, they are delightful fellows. <laughs> Wouldn't you, officers, care to have a seat? In the room that the old man slept in? <laughs> it's been a long day. Hasn't it? A long day and a long night. 
He keeps his treasure in that drawer there. You'll notice I haven't stolen anything. Oh, it's a lovely night, though. The stars are out in all their glory. Hasn't been disturbed, sir. Well, everything seems to be in order. Don't go. No, stay. Stay a moment. Rest yourselves from your various fatigues. Yes, I have. I'm so innocent. I have no qualms about the police lounging about in my abode. Oh, my head. And what is that annoying ringing in my ears? It is a strange sound. Will they never be gone? And that ringing... But wait. It's not in my ears, it's... Oh my god. Where is it coming from? No. I'm safe. If only they'll leave. Gotta keep our composure. They must, and still, how is it they don't hear it? Hold it together now, we've come this far. And we're back in the real world, as we now have done the second half. We've now seen both halves of the story. So yeah, the way the story goes is he has committed the perfect crime, but gets really angry at the end because he hears the heart beating, and he doesn't think it's in his head. He thinks the cops can hear it as well, and he's like, yes, very funny. I know you can hear it too. You're messing with me now. Go ahead. Here it is. I know you could hear it. Because he thought, you know, he was all sane and rational. That's the whole thing of the story. He's explaining about how he's not mad. Look how sane I am as I describe this to you. Does anything get added to this? Yeah, brick wall got added here. <clears throat> One empty frame there. One empty frame there. All right, we're back in the real world. Last we saw, uh, our family was grieving over the death of Elise. Anything new here? Ah, yes, that. We did see a painting of that earlier, but I guess now it has blood on it. Let's uh, head upstairs, I guess. See what's going on. All right, so an interesting thing about that was I did click on a different object. I clicked on the fish to get the old man's perspective and clicked on the, uh, on the, uh, was there was a knife or what, there was a saw above the fish to get the murderer's perspective. So maybe the other stories had two objects as well. Oh, hello, here we go. The coffin right on the bed. Surely there's a better place to do that. I have determined to place my dear niece in the lower vault. The ground outside is far too marshy this time of year for a proper burial. Please light the way. All right, yoink. All right, down to the basement we go. 
it's a sad thing. It's not a large procession, but I mean, you're gonna get family to come out here this, uh... I made my descent to the cellar. My companions with their dreadful burden just steps behind. We penetrated into the dank basement. The lantern pushing back the darkness. What I could see in the black floated before my eyes. My eyes themselves felt as though they had turned to ice, and now sat chill and spiked in my heavy skull. We can't look back to see them carrying it behind us. Yeah, like I said, you're not going to get a lot of family out here at such short notice at this time when, you know, transportation wasn't all that fast. So this is the funeral. It's going to have to be. These harrowing reflections haunted me until we reached the lower vault. We entered carefully and placed the coffin on two spindly wooden trestles set there for such a purpose. Our labor was without ceremony. Come now. Peace be with her. I can't bear to leave her here, all alone in the dark. Dear brother, do leave the lantern. Leave her a small source of light. We'll go back in the darkness. All right. Sure, no one wants to knock on that to see maybe she's still alive in there. Seems like it's something that could happen. Walking backwards, are you? Ambers, seal the vault securely. Leave the key with me. Come, gentlemen. All right, let's go. Have you ever been a pallbearer at a funeral? Kind of terrifying, because you... Oh, no, I'm in the other world. Because you're kind of worried what happens if you drop it. Oh, we're, no, it just leads back here. All right. That was not not a whole lot of time spent in the real world before we came back here. Well, <clears throat> I guess we know what we need to do, right? Um, we need to go back to Cask and Berenice and see if there was a second object to rub on. And maybe then we could do the other, um, the other perspective of that. And then, let's see. Yeah. So in my head, a new one has been added, the eye. That wasn't there before. So eye and heart are the two perspectives of Telltale Heart. We need to get a second perspective for Berenice, a second perspective for Cask. And there would still be one left over. Like, it couldn't be a second perspective for, um, Mask of the Red Death, could it? Because that was just a story being told. So I don't know what this one remaining one is. Maybe it's another story, like Mask was? I don't know. But as we continue with, uh, the Dark Eye, well, things have gotten sad in this family. First, our brother wanted to get it on with our cousin, our underage cousin, and uncle said, no, no, what, what, no. And then cousin coughed up blood and died. And we're all very sad. We have buried her. And uh, yeah, that uh, that's just the status of what's happening right now. I mean, I guess the whole family conflict about whether or not our brother and cousin should get married has kind of just hit a brick wall, considering she's dead now. What will happen next? I, I mean, I guess that we have to do another one of these stories, another a second perspective, to get back to the real world and find out how this advances. And uh, we will do that as we continue on with The Dark Eye.